you speak more about the pros and, and maybe even the cons of, of opting for epilepsy surgery? And, and are there, obviously there's people, this is obviously a major decision for, for some people. So are there any stigmas that are related to getting this procedure? We have those conversations with patients all the time. I see moms who are scared of um, having to be in a hospital for several weeks and you know, not care for their kids. I see um, uh, people who are very busy at work, worried about taking time off and justifying that by needing to have a brain procedure. Uh, I see patients who are concerned because some remote family member had some brain procedure at some point and, you know, had complications with it. So they worry the same thing will happen to them. So there are a lot of fears out there, um, some justified and some just due to misperceptions and misinformation uh, that may stop someone from getting to the point of looking at brain surgery. The biggest misperception though, is that epilepsy surgery is riskier than the status quo. Meaning for a patient who has drug resistant epilepsy, and that's defined by ongoing seizures despite trying two seizure medications. Ongoing seizures means anything above zero. If you're anything but seizure-free, that means you fall in that category if you've tried properly two seizure medications. For patients who fall in that bucket, that's the group that we looked at in our study. If you continue to try more medications, you are actually taking the riskier approach. The mortality rate of patients who keep working with medications when they have drug-resistant epilepsy is actually much higher than if they go and get surgery. The quality of life of patients who continue with medications in that drug-resistant category is much poorer than the quality of life of those who go get surgery. Uh, the risk of sudden death is higher if you keep medicines versus if you go to surgery. So surgery is a procedure that can um, increase your longevity, allows you to live longer, on average five years longer. It improves your quality of life. Um, and that's measured by this quality, quality of life years number that we looked at. And it improves your um, functional uh, status in general. So thinking that by deferring surgery, I am taking the safest approach, that is actually the biggest misperception that I see 